In this video, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff, Honey Bucket by the Melvins. What's going on? Welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the heaviest bass channel on YouTube. Let's get right into this one. We are in drop D tuning, so grab your axe, tune up, and let's do this. Here's the first part of riff number one, nice and slow. <laughs> this is so great. It's, we're just picking the low string and then every once in a while doing a pull off from one to open on the low string. So the first kind of rhythmic section goes. So when you're playing it up to speed, you're going to have to be alternate picking and these kind of last opens with this little break, they're going to land on upstrokes. So it's going. And be sure to cut off in between each one of those open strings uh, to really give a little space. So it's like. Next part goes like this. So it's basically a slightly extended version of the first part. So it starts open one, one, then a pull off. Here's the first part all the way through nice and slow. Played a couple times. Here's the second part of the riff, goes like this. <laughs> this is so great. So it basically starts out the same on the low string opens and then doing pull offs from one to open. Then we do that extended thing like we did in the first half. So I'll play everything that's the same and then I'll cut it off when something new comes in. So it goes. Next part we go open and then we're gonna go on the third fret. So it goes. So that's open three, three, then three pull off to open. And then it's back to the pull offs from one to open. So here's the full riff, nice and slow, and then I'll play it up to speed. much fun to play. The final part of the riff goes like this. So 
So we're coming up to the third fret. Play that a few times, then it's open, then back to the third. Ride the third fret, last note of the measure is open, so it goes. Then we go up to the fourth fret. Then we go one, back to four, and then the riff ends with these slides from one to four and kind of back and forth, so it goes. <laughs> Very cool. Here's the last part. I'll play it once slow and then once up to speed. It's so good. Here's the first half of riff number two, nice and slow. Very cool how it bounces back and forth here. Starts low string, opens, then we're going up to one, pulling back off. The very last note in the measure is the fourth fret, and it kind of leads us into this fifth fret, which is the start of the next measure. So here's the first measure up into the fifth fret. Leads into the fifth fret, second measure, goes like this. So that's fives, sixes, opens. Next part starts low string open, then we go sixth fret on the third string. Last part of the riff starts low string open, then fifth fret on the third string. Here's that last measure where it's open six on the third, open five on the third. Here's that first half again, nice and slow. So good. Here's the second half, nice and slow. <laughs> so it's low string, opens, ones. So the last note of the measure is on the fifth fret and it picks up in the next measure on that fifth fret. So it goes up to sixth fret. So far. So every time we change frets, it's on an upstroke. So it's Then we go up to the third string, sixth fret, then it ends on low, string open. Here's both parts of riff number two, all the way through nice and slow, then I'll play it up to speed. So great, so much fun to play. 
Before we get into the next riff, I'd just like to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world and makes all these lessons and all these tabs happen. Thank you so much. Here's riff number three, nice and slow. This is kind of the chugging part. So it starts with just open low string. Then the guitar gets a little bit busier, but we go like this. So that's low string, all of the low string. So it's six, pull off to open, and then it's ones and open, so it goes. So we play that riff a few times around, then we line up with the guitars, goes like this. So that part in the middle is seven, four, seven, five, six, open. So that leads back into the... So it's seven, four, seven, five, six, open. Here it is, full speed. It just doesn't get any better than that. Here's riff number four, nice and slow. Awesome. First part goes low string, open, one, open, then six on the third string. Next part goes open, one, open, then it's six, five on the third string. Then we go six on the low, five on the third. So far. Then we go low string, six, five, three, five. Then it's three on the third string, five on the low. So here it is, a couple times slow. Last part of the riff. Basically the same as the first part. We just end on some open. Here's the full thing. I'll play it twice slow and then twice up to speed.
great. So let's check out the outro at full speed. But before we do, thanks for checking out the video. If you dug the lesson, I highly encourage you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This way YouTube will show this thing to more fans of the Melvins, just like we are. And if you want to see a full playthrough synced along with the tabs, check out the Beholden to the Riff Patreon page.